looking for some of the more sophisticated uh, palette manipulation. As you can see, I'm still in this uh, little hammer tab here, the tool set specifically for moving parts of palettes around. And uh, here are different different functions. This one, for instance, is uh, the one I use the most, is for selecting uh, sets of colors in a linear fashion. Uh, in other words, if I click and start at the first index and drag, it's going to select uh, from that point until wherever my pointer ends up when I'm moving around. So I can very quickly and easily select an entire gradient that I use for skin tones or, for, or, or things of that sort. So uh, once I have that group selected, I can literally just grab it with, you see this little movement icon uh, near the uh, mouse pointer now. If I just click and hold the left mouse button, I can literally move those colors into any indexes that I would like. Uh, once I do, I need to click on this little check, green check uh, to apply that palette change. And in this case, it actually uh, remaps on the fly when you click apply. Uh, and as you can see now, uh, those are ghosted out because you've not made another change. Uh, so in that case, what we just did was a move, uh, which worked fine because we were just moving where there were unused uh, color indices. And you can actually tell it to show you mark colors that are not used. So you can actually have it show you which indices are not being used in the image another great tool for manipulating the palette. Uh, and you can even tell it to select colors that are not in your palette yet, or, or colors that are not being used in your image. Um, but I'm going to select none to go back to talking about these black icons here with these arrows. The mode we were in was move, which will literally replace where it used to be with black and move and totally copy and replace whatever colors are in the new indices that you're moving to. However, more often than not, you'll have a fairly full palette and you don't want to copy over um, stuff. You might need to swap colors with other colors. So, that's what these, this icon here is for, is to swap. So, for instance, again, let's say I want to uh, swap the position of this kind of bluish gray gradient with these more warm colors here. So, I go into the linear selector, I select those first half of colors, and I'm in swap mode now because I turn on this, this icon. And as I move, it's literally swapping those uh, colors with the other colors uh, that I'm moving into. So I just let go, click apply, and it remaps in you know, my palette. Is so that's just a really powerful way uh, to have very strong control to move around your color sets and keep your palette very well organized. Uh, it is very important to keep in mind if are new to this whole concept of indexed color images. Uh, remember before I was talking about saving your palettes. All of these brushes here had palettes that were organized in a very different way. So you're going to get some very strange looking results when you grab those brushes. In other words, the palettes of those brushes aren't really compatible uh, with the, uh, the new arranged palette of the image. So just keep that in mind and be careful. And you should really only start doing your, your palette variation um, uh, creation once your palette is organized in the way that you think it's going to stay.